What's good, everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. If you can believe it, we are on, what, the 12th day of vlogist? Uh, I can't believe it. I'd find it hard to believe except uh, the lack of sleep I get whenever we do vlogist because I've got to do all the editing. Although I did, uh, I did make Courtney edit one. Yesterday's video, I asked her if she could edit because I wasn't feeling great. And then she woke me up and was like, uh, I need you to look at this. Look at it. Had to redo the whole thing. But I think it worked out well. Boom. 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 What are you, what are you doing? I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to film and you're back here being weird. I'm being your backup dancer. I don't need any backup dancers. Certainly not ones that dance like you. Your hype crew? My hype crew? Oh, you hype. Definitely making me look good. That's right. All right, fine. I'll go feed these animals. Yeah, get to work. Get to work. I love these flowers we got in this uh, green stalk. Man, come out super fine. One of my goals was to put flowers and only flowers in one of these green stalks, but um, didn't quite get there. Nope, didn't get there. But at least our garden looks pretty awesome and it's still giving us lots of food. As a matter of fact, there's so much going on in this garden, it's almost hard to keep up with, but we got some fantastic advice from Rachel over at that 1870s homestead, and that's just take it one thing at a time. Don't try to tackle it all. Just do one thing and do what you can. So that's what we've been doing. And I think the chickens have been sort of helping out because they're getting anything that's sort of low lying. Not that there's a whole lot of that left, but hey, they're doing their job. And let's not forget that turkey who always seems to be in there. Are you all looking for some treats? Because I don't have any treats to give you. I feel like y'all are looking for some treats that I just don't have right now. Why don't y'all look for some bugs? Huh? Go look for some bugs. What's up, dude? How's that foot doing, huh? Foot's doing pretty good. Courtney's going to have to talk to everybody about that. You don't like that turkey, do you? Don't like that turkey. Not one bit. You alright there, big man? Yeah, you're alright. You're doing just fine. Where y'all going, ducks? You got somewhere to go? Huh? Keeping it tight, I see. Nice, good, single file row. Okay, nice talking to you. Somebody wanted to see me eat one of my Red Hots, so here goes, folks. Woo! Woo! Oh! Oh! Woo That's hot! That's hot! Oh my! Woo. Taste. Woo. I need some chips or something. Woo. That's hot. Mm, mm, mm. Woo. Hot. Woo. I'll be right back. Woo. Feeling a little bit better now. Feeling a little bit better. I had to go get like a chip, chip or two. Kind of take off the uh, the heat. I think I was sweating a little bit. Maybe I was getting a little red. Anyway, what's the point of this video? Well, I just kind of wanted to talk to everybody and do a little bit of a check-in, I guess. We've been on YouTube now for, I feel like, I don't know, a little over two years, something like that. And in that time, you know, you, you come to expect a certain level of criticism. I mean, you make videos about a part of your life and you put them on YouTube, the internet, the public, everybody can see it. And when you do that, it comes with, you know, it's good and it's bad points. Some of the good things are all the people that we've met. We've met a lot of fellow YouTubers and created a lot of new uh, and interesting relationships that we would not have had otherwise. We've connected with people all over the world, which is crazy 
when I think about where we were and where we are today. You talk to people that uh, you've inspired and also who inspire you. Nothing beats knowing that you've inspired somebody to do something awesome, to try the things that you've tried, to do the things that you do, whatever, you know? It's, it's amazing. I mean, literally mind-blowing. But there's also a bit of a dark side to what we do, and that's the negative comments, the trolls, the judgy McJudgersons, the, you know, just people who get really powerful on their typewriter. And they say things that start really nice, aren't really constructive, and really just aren't necessary. Now, along with doing this for two years, you start to grow some pretty thick skin. And Courtney and I have got some pretty thick skin to begin with. I mean, I I grew up in the city and I dealt with my share of, well, not so great stuff. So the almighty powerful typing, commenting, it doesn't really bother me much. I've worked with people directly my entire career, whether it be when I was a therapist or when I was a school counselor. So I can pretty much handle anything you throw at me and I'll be all right. And the same for Courtney. I mean, she pretty much errs on the side of like, I just don't really care about your opinion. So a lot of it, we just kind of let go, dust off our shoulders and move on because it's really not that big of a deal. That said, I feel like I do need to address one recent thing. If you've followed our channel for any length of time, there's a couple things you've learned about us. One, we are a very tight, loving family. Two, we love our animals a lot. Three, we love to learn, we love to laugh, and we don't care if we're good at it, if we're gonna fail at it, we're just gonna keep trying because that's just the nature of who we are. Now with our videos, one of the things that we try to do is make them entertaining. We try to have a good time making them. We try to throw some sarcasm and satire in there. We try to show you the good and the bad. We try to give you a really good balance of who we are, what we're about, and, you know, just enjoy life with us, laugh with us. One of the things we always joke about is uh, that I forget stuff, right? Yep, I do. I forget stuff. And I've explained to you why. It's not my fault. I got stuff going on. I forget things. No big deal, right? I don't finish projects. Well, guess what? I'm not gonna finish projects. Courtney sneaks goats onto the property and doesn't tell me. It's funny. It's also the truth, but it's funny. And you know, uh, as much as I hate it, I don't hate it, hate it. And I'm okay with it because she makes good decisions and I'm okay with that decision, which is pretty much the only reason she does it because she knows I'm gonna be okay with it. My kids make a mess everywhere with everything. But that doesn't mean that I don't love them. It doesn't mean that I don't care for them. As a matter of fact, I think it means that uh, I care for them quite a bit, that they're still walking around. And don't think for a minute that I don't make them clean it up, because I do. Another thing we joke about is that, uh, you know, maybe Courtney gets a little too overzealous uh, shopping for things. Another thing we joke about is that we get in over our heads all the time. And you know what? We do, all the time, and it's funny. Another thing that we throw into the mix is that uh, Courtney loves her wine. And you know what? She does love her wine, but we don't joke about her being an alcoholic. We don't joke about anybody being an alcoholic. We might talk a lot about that uh, she has a glass of wine when she goes out to take care of the goats. I might tease her that maybe she had a little too much. I might make jokes about her having wine, but I wanna be clear, people. Satire, satire. In our last video, Courtney made uh, a mention or two about her glass of wine and someone felt the need to call her an alcoholic and go get help. My wife is not an alcoholic and my wife doesn't need to go get help. And not only that, but it's not for any of you to ever decide or ever make a comment on. If anybody is gonna make those decisions, it's gonna be her family. And her husband, 
someone who's worked in uh, substance abuse, addiction, and many other things is more qualified to make that decision and those comments than any of you. Now, 99% of you are perfectly fine, and I think you get it. But there's a small percentage that feels the need to drop some nasty comments towards my wife, and I'm not okay with it. The idea, also, that we enjoy a glass of wine and our kids are around us or near us is bad parenting is mind-boggling to me, folks. If anything, we have done nothing but teach our children how important it is to understand what alcohol is, what dangers it can play in your life, who can drink, who can't, how much should somebody have, how much somebody shouldn't have. I mean, we could go on and on and on, but my children learn that in my home. They're not learning that in someone else's home. They're not learning that from their friends. They're learning it from me and my wife and they're gonna grow up right because of it. I was taught how to respect alcohol, my wife was taught how to respect alcohol, and my children are being taught how to also respect alcohol. I make no apologies for our videos, and I make no apologies for what's in our videos. I think they are wholesome, they are normal, this is how people live, and at no point am I endorsing alcoholism, glorifying alcoholism, or making alcoholism a joke. At best, folks, Courtney might have a glass or two of wine every other day. I probably drink once a month, if that. But it is still satire, folks. It's funny. Not alcoholism, but that Courtney leaves glasses of wine in the garden. That's funny. That is funny. The fact that when your kids take a four-wheeler through the mud, that you're like, Oh man, I'll just drink a glass of wine and it'll be fine. Does alcohol solve that problem? No. But does making a joke about the problem make it better? Absolutely. I guess where I'm going with this, folks, is that uh, if you don't like it, then you are free to not watch. I am not forcing you to watch my videos. If you're not our people, I am fine with you not being our people. Our people are out there, they enjoy watching, and I love you all for it. I'm not gonna change who I am. My wife is not gonna change who she is. We're gonna keep doing us. We're gonna keep being real because this is real. This is our life. If you wanna be a troll, then be a troll. But just know that I'm not gonna pay any attention to you and I'm probably just gonna block you. Peace out. Don't bother me. There's the door. You know, one of the things that puzzles me is I'm not quite sure how any of us would ever get any of this stuff done if we were drinking too much. Like seriously, for those of you who are out here doing all this, you have to agree with me on this. You can't get anything done if you've had too much. But I don't know nothing that tastes sweeter than a nice wheat beer after mowing the lawn. Well, that's because I can't have lemonade. It burns me up inside. Although that pepper didn't, I don't really get that. Any of you get that? I was gonna sit down in that chair, but um, Courtney's melons have taken over that entire chair, so I don't, I don't think I'm getting in there. I don't even think I'm going to move that chair. I'm just going to leave it go. Maybe a melon will find its way in the seat of that chair. Ugh, that pepper's getting me. Whew. Maybe I was wrong about that pepper and the lemonade and goodness. Also, in case you were wondering, this mud puddle thing has gotten exponentially larger. Uh, that's because Bridget won't stop running the four-wheeler through it. And can you really blame her? I mean, if I were her age and I had this little four-wheeler, I would definitely be running it through the mud. On a daily basis, I catch her out here going back and forth, back and forth, despite the fact that I say, hey, knock it off. And I make her wash the four-wheeler when she's done. And her. She's covered in mud each time. Oh, by the way, so a while ago, Courtney, oh, calm down, calm down, killer. Oh my God, the cats. Why do we have so many cats? Well, turns out Courtney decided to rescue all of them. I'm so excited. All the cats. All the cats, but I'm not gonna lie. This one here, he is super cute. I mean, orange, I love it. So 
cute. What are you gonna do, folks? What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm sorry if you're disappointed that this isn't the normal, happy, uh, satirical life on Beagle Road, but I did feel that it was necessary to address. And uh, listen, I get it. We're not everybody's cup of tea, but it is who we are, and it's who we're gonna continue to be. It's getting late, and we're gonna lose daylight, and we've got a lot of chores we've gotta get done yet, plus I gotta go inside and edit this video. So in the spirit of vlogist, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>